The following Let's Play has been rated not safe for young children. Any attempts to break the game are for entertainment value only. However, if any typos happen to be found, <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to this game. When we last left off, my controller broke, but that was off camera, so you didn't actually miss anything. Yeah. I sort of, I was looking for flags and then we decided, screw it, let's end the episode. What you know about technical difficulties? Well, I tell ya, um, the other day, I sprung on Macon, the most infamous RPG Maker game of all time. I think Karma's paying me <laughs> Link back. Link in the description. Yeah, I think I'm I'm getting paid back in, by Karma. Because yeah. first we had to spend more than a couple hours trying to... With more Lentuses more than a couple. Like, getting the virus deal. First we tried to get the ROM on a Wii, which apparently there were some formatting issues. We said, screw it, we'll put it on my laptop. And then my laptop at that time contracted a virus to... To this day, I have no idea how it got that way. Where's the controller? Oh, here. Alright. And then, this controller here, that you probably can barely see, maybe I'll just bring it up close. There we go, yeah. This controller here, this direction suddenly decided it did not want to work. Yeah, you can feel it, it don't work. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm gonna try to fix that at a later date. So then my vi like I am really good with my computers, but I downloaded ZSNES from ZSNES.com, started and I ran the program which ran fine and like during the while well, we we're configuring a controller, virus! Just out of nowhere, virus. And so I had to spend a while get my laptop back up to working condition. Yeah, that's what that's the thing that took more than a couple hours. But now this controller of mine breaks, and fortunately we have this PS3 controller. Yeah. Which but is doing fine. It well, sort of fine, but sort of fine, yeah. Yeah. It's working fine here, but I, going it, into the menu, all of a sudden the X button closes the menu. I didn't. I'm fairly certain it actually what? chose an option not to backed out. Maybe then what's confirmed? I, I could be entirely wrong. I don't know. Maybe this whole thing has gotten me mix, mixed up because pressing X doesn't let me enter the area anyway. But Whatever. I could very well be mixed up. In, the, in any case, it works fine during exploration and it works fine during battle. I might just be mixed up because my the controller I normally use uses six face buttons. Maybe. 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 Anyway, we're fighting Kulex. I went off to whatever the town is called. Oh yeah, Temple Pond. Uh, after I got the thing that the Soprano card, I bought a few uh, Mega Elixirs and uh, an extra Kiro Kiro Cola. And I also used my Frog Coins to buy me some Crystal Lanes. What we're doing right here is going to be. All I'm assuming is going to be a lot harder than beating the actual game. Fighting Kulex without doing any like without doing any grinding in the original game was already dicey enough. You know, usually people go all out, make sure they get both lazy shells, all the spells, and all this and jazz before you get here. All Trey's done is just you know gotten enough items. You know, now granted, you're at higher levels now than you were at that time, and you have higher HP than you did at that time, but we don't know if this dude's, like, tampered with Kulex's, uh, abilities or not, so we'll just have to see. You know what, I think I'm gonna... Um, I don't know, do I want Bowser or do I want Mallow? Because Mallow could use, well, Thunderbolt. Eh, screw it. Let's fight Kulex. 
Oh, by the way, only Lancis and I are here. Everybody else wandered off. No, everybody's still here. They're just really quiet or asleep. <laughs> Except Alan, because if Alan was here and asleep, you'd be... Yeah. <laughs> Oh gosh, I hope he doesn't watch this. <laughs> Love you, Alan. No, I gotta say, dude, Alan's awesome. I hang out with that guy any day. For the longest time, I thought this guy was hidden in Final Fantasy IV somewhere. No, but it's then, just the theme. But then I actually got through Final Fantasy IV and it, he wasn't in there. You know how awesome it would have been had they put him in the DS remake of 4, that would have been cool. Square owns him. Yeah, but I guess kind of so does Nintendo. But it's a, uh, it was a Nintendo, yeah, there's no reason why they couldn't have done that. Yeah, normally the best way to beat this guy would be to almost be at least almost at your maximum level, which in this case we aren't even close. Right. I love this battle theme. Ah, uh, that's good news. I get the first turn. So the first thing I'm going to do is buff up my defense. We'll see how much that helps. Ah. Uh, yeah! Woo -hoo! Yeah! Yeah, buddy! Now, something I learned in a Let's Play I, that I recently watched was that if you defeat Kulex, the crystals self-destruct. Immediately. One right after another. Which is, the, the way I've always done it was go after the crystals and then go after Kulex last. Me too. So, finding out that Kulex is actually preferable to target is useful. So, so are you going to try to utilize that, or are you going to... Because we don't know how much more damage the crystals are going to do now in Revolution. Like... <laughs> Watch this, one of those crystals is going to bust out a single spell and knock everybody out immediately. Even with the double defense. 207's good. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, there it is. Rock candy. Do you still have that fire? No, we don't have the firebomb, but whatever. Oh gosh. Duh. Well, that didn't help. Alright, now we're going to see how hard this is. Ooh. I'm probably going to die. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna die. You're not gonna survive this. You're up, uh, freaking. I'll die down. You're, no, you're gone. I'm gone. Bye. <laughs> wow. 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 I did not stand a chance. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> that that um, was with Crystalline. Yes. My gosh, had I not used that, I probably would have taken over a hundred damage every hit. No, half those crystals would not have even had a chance to attack, because you would have been dead. So, what I'm going to do here is reload. You can load the state back up to uh, where you were grinding frog coins. I didn't save that state, remember? I did. Oh, well, that I was after I bought all this stuff, though. So, I don't actually want that state. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Never mind on Kulex. Obviously, that death does not count. You had no chance to begin with. No. So, here's my save before I bought Got all that owned. stuff. So, here's my regular inventory. God dang, man. Um,. So I... Now uh, what? <laughs> well, I... Well, we can look for that last flag. Yeah. Uh... Oh, this is a subquest, yeah. I forgot about this. Cricket Jam. Let's give it to him. Some, but not all. An allowance. Ten frog coins! That, that's... Ten! Ten frog coins! Ah! 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 That's actually a pretty good allowance. I, yeah, is that weekly? Because I'll be back, <laughs> Grandpa! 
and I'm pretty sure now we know where the last flag is. Well, it was in a cannon, so... Yeah, I thought it was somewhere around the cannons. Yeah. I suggested above a cannon. But no, we actually have to go inside a cannon. So... The, <laughs> of course, why else? So, well, hopefully that doesn't actually mean checking the cannon because I already did that several times. I am hoping that basically what I have to do is get inside the cannon and check inside the cannon. Not in that cannon. Hey, want to find out if he owned Bond, uh, owned Bond's five, five bucks? bucks or not? Yeah. Sure. If I could get I mean, over there. There's no way I'm gonna ever get that right. Alright. Slow down. Nope. Not in that one. Are you gonna try you're gonna fight if you if you try to get in those? I don't see how those cannons would be lonely. Right, so. they seem really busy. No oh, gosh darn. Well, I'm sure that slowdown isn't messing you up. Well, now I'm a little confused because... If it's inside a cannon... The only other cannon here you can't get inside. Uh, I'm beginning to think this is a waste of time. Yeah. Because I'm fairly certain I actually checked the cannon itself. I, I'm sure you did too. You check the cannon on all sides and then all the surrounding rock around it. So... This does not help. But that item does. Are you gonna hatch the mystery egg? Oh yeah, I need to do that. Are you gonna do that off screen or something? Maybe. Maybe. Alright, well, this uh, this doesn't work. I'm gonna try checking those other cannons real quick. Maybe get on top of it today. I tried that. Well, I'm stumped. Yeah, you got us. Good job, dude. You got us. Uh, oops. Yep. Whatever. A cannon. A lonely cannon. A so, cannon that is by itself. Better, better get in there. And wow, those. I did not expect that to actually hit me. I'm not surprised. I wonder if that thing will stop midair. Nope. No. Nope. Oh, Whoa! Really? <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, look, it's Shadow is up there. <laughs> well, that makes this trip worth it. Oh, wow, that was... And it, well, hey, it doesn't break the game, at least, that he still makes it back to the cannon. <laughs> Alright, well, let's leave this for a second place. If I can. Yeah. So, no Colex, man. That was after you used Crystalline. Too bad, too, you got a, a, a freebie from it, too. Yeah. Those things are nine frog coins, man. That's serious, but freaking money. Actually, now that I have my frog coins back, because I reloaded it Seaside Town. Uh, is there anything I want to buy? Well, the half I want to sell. Do I still have the fire bomb selling it? Because I was saving that for Coolix. If I can't use it on Coolix, um, oh well. Golly, yeah, you're. That's not gonna happen for a while. No, not for a very long. I'm definitely waiting until after the Axon Rangers. Yeah, yeah, that would. That... Alright. 
Nah, now, let's see. These are elemental things. Double experience, no thanks. If because have, why would you not take and, that immediately? Now, the this is for everybody in the party, correct? I believe so. That is everybody in the party, but if not... So, uh, yeah, I'd, be, I'd throw it on, like, Mario, really. So when you change out your party, the effect still works on everybody. Just let's just, next time we're in a battle, uh, we'll check and see. <laughs> yeah, we could put Gino in the party and see if Gino boost costs 7 instead of 14. With little to no chance of ever hitting the timed hit. And that's a pro coin. Yeah, yeah, maybe we should press our chances with Jinx. Free heal, and they'll tell me one more, uh, another time about the stuff. A lonely cannon. Lonely cannon. I was about to say, what a, they could, if, like, something else that constitutes as a cannon? Play on words? Like, I can't think of what, yeah. It's not, it's, it's spelled like a normal cannon. Cannon. Do you, oh, no, they wouldn't put it there. Where? Bowser's Castle, the cannon enemy sprites? No, I, they, they actually are cannons. Like, normally they, these things are locations that we've already visited. Right, but this is a wrong hag, but don't you think that it might be possible that they put it somewhere you haven't been yet just to be douchey? Well, there is the Cursed Rain. Exactly. I wouldn't be surprised if it's behind an actual cannon, like the enemy cannon, in Bowser's Castle. Um, eh, whatever. We're definitely giving up on that. I'll be sure to bring that up back when we're in uh, Bowser's Castle, though. Like, there's, there's the black cannons, and then there's the gold cannons. Right? Right. Right. But most of the time you run across them, they're in pairs. So, I don't know. No, now that I think about it, none of the cannons in Bowser's Castle are on the map itself. Yeah. Just have no idea. No. So well, that's that's the best I got. Hey, if any of you have a suggestion, hopefully I'll upload this soon enough that your suggestion will have a point. Yeah. We don't break down and just ask the creator himself. Hey, where's the freaking flag? He won't answer anyway. Probably not. Because I asked him about the baseball cap and the other thing, and he never responded to that. He didn't respond to the cursed ring. You know what his, you know, uh, response would have been? Lol, lol, lol. He responded to Gino Boost to tell me, yes, that was intentional. But that's all he responded to. As far as I know, he hasn't been paying attention to the fact that I'm even doing this Let's Play, even though he invites anybody who's Let's Playing it to tell him. This. Alright, so let's move on. It was jumping on these guys that my controller suddenly decided it didn't want to work anymore. Yeah, you, didn't, you, you Hulk smashed your right directional pad. Yeah, the thing is, if you jump on these guys three times without hitting the ground, you, you get, get a frog, frog coin. coin! That's probably the best way to get frog coins. Yeah, or you could jump on a Wiggler ten times in the Force Maze. They're a little less jerky and they follow a set pattern, so it is a little bit easier to jump on them, but it's ten times in a row, so it's it's just whatever, you know? Ah! I can get the proper time to get the prize here. 
No, that's the prop actual. Uh, I need to wait a moment there. You're probably gonna get some slowdown at some point. Yeah, there is some slowdown. Come on, hurry up, 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 hurry up. and stop. Okay, so here's the deal. While this was supposed to be the final episode that we recorded at MacCon, I sort of missed the part where Lantis told me we had reached a half hour in recording, and we wound up recording for much longer. Longer than I would be comfortable uploading in a single episode. So I'm just going to split it right here and we'll finish things at MacCon next time. It was definitely worth the overtime though, because as it turns out, somebody wandered in, somebody who I wanted in my Let's Plays for quite a while now. Also, just a little note here, if you finish this Cliff minigame in a fast enough time, you get a really nice special item. What is that special item? Am I going to make it fast enough? And who is the special person who's going to be joining my Let's Play? You'll have to find out when MacCon concludes next time.